All right, here we go. I'm going to be showing you Diablo Immortal, and this is the PC beta that I've been playing. And here are the characters you can choose from. I'm going to try to show you uh, my progression. I played about five hours, and this is just my my first impressions of this. Huge Diablo fan, and I've been playing since the first one came out. I've played them all, and so I wanted to play the PC beta. It is in beta but it is free to play um, with some asterisks as you know, I'm gonna talk about that in a bit. So you can customize your character. Uh, the big thing with this game is that you can play it on uh, a tablet or mobile, but I wanted to show the PC version and uh, my thoughts about me playing this. Uh, so far it was, it was relatively bug free. I did, um, I did get stuck one time on some terrain but this uh, overall didn't have any other major glitches or issues. But the, the combat, as you can see, is, is pure Diablo. I, I definitely ha it has the feel of Diablo 3, but I did find that uh, the combat was satisfying as well as the loot. The loot is easy to upgrade and uh, get better loot on your character. I, I felt that the, the menu system was pretty straightforward and, and overall, overall for a free-to-play game, combat-wise, music-wise, pretty good. Pretty good. You know, I, I'm not uh, the biggest fan of free-to-play games as, you know, they typically put things in to, to get you. And, and this one definitely has that. But overall, uh, playing five hours, I found myself uh, enjoying what I've played so far. Is it a pure Diablo game? I'm gonna say no, it's close. Uh, the combat is great, the bosses, uh, even the graphics, you know, for a mobile game, it looks pretty good on PC. I, I don't have a great PC and I was able to run it fine. And uh, I found it actually ran better than Diablo 3 on my computer. So it definitely has a Diablo 3 feel, graphic wise and uh, asset wise. Um, and so I know that this has been in development for a while. So. That is, the strength of it is I really enjoy the combat. Uh, the loot's pretty good. Uh, the story's just so-so. I'm a big Diablo 2 fan. That's like kind of the sweet spot. Uh, there's lots of content in this as well for free. And so, the, you know, there's treasure and loot everywhere. There's things you can play every day. Uh, I, I really enjoy it too, the boss fights. And, you know, you get uh, special abilities. And I'm playing with a traditional mouse and keyboard there is controller options as well for the pc version i do believe but i just wanted to play it straight up like i would play any other diablo i did notice uh there's there's not breakable terrain as much as in previous versions i do miss that that is kind of i don't know why that is but that is one difference between this and a more of a traditional diablo is all of your loot typically comes from chests and or enemies you're not going around breaking barrels and boxes. The other nice thing though, is I felt that uh, my character carried a lot of loot. And so you're not teleporting back to town to, to sell your gear. You're typically storing it and then uh, you're talking to the blast blacksmith. All right, here's the battle pass issue. So you have a free battle pass, but you can pay money to get a battle pass that offers a lot more abilities. And so yes, it is a game where if you pay, you can progress faster, but you can play the game, the story mode, and beat the game for free. But it definitely has, as you progress, especially I'm about level 25 at the end of this video. There's lots of things in it that uh, definitely they're encouraging you to buy extra items or unlock this in it. And I can see over time how that's gonna become a grind. And for people long term, you may want to consider that because that's going to be pretty annoying for, for many people. Uh, I don't like some of that predatory approach where you're pretty much getting people to spend money to advance faster. I'm fine with cosmetics if you want to charge for that, but I, I don't know what I think of this. Anyways, I know that some people are going to have some issues with that. I'm not spending a cent. I'm going to beat this free to play and definitely at least post my thoughts about it. But I'm about five hours in, as I mentioned before. Huge map, lots of areas that you're going to be familiar with. 
Um, it definitely has the Diablo feel. Graphic-wise, it's reminiscent of Diablo 3. And, you know, I just wanted to show kind of what it looks like. I'm running this uh, on a, a computer that's uh, outdated. So it runs on, on, on pretty much most modern-day computers. Uh, for me, you know, I'm definitely looking at upgrading my computer down the road. So, yes, there's that, that, that battle pass, and, you know, they definitely are promoting that throughout the game. Uh, you can get better gear when you buy a, a battle pass, though. It, that, it's just really annoying. It's definitely in your face as you progress more and more. And so, um, yeah, I don't like that, but I'm not going to do it anyways. I'm just going to pretty much play this solo as well. So you can party up with people rather easily. Uh, people are in and out of your game if you choose and they can help you beat bosses and do riffs and all that but i found i found this game overall to be okay i, I think there's going to be a lot of people out there especially on playing on a pc well why don't you play path of exile yeah do that i mean that's a great alternative to this that i think is the sweet spot of a free-to-play game that does it right this one definitely is is more uh hey spend this get this get this battle pass you get this uh you get m more legendary items if you spend money um but you can do a lot in this game for free so do i hate this game no i don't is it a true diablo experience it's close it's close and definitely knowing that this was made for mobile and you know the olive branch was after people got pretty upset they made it for pc so I, I'm, I'm happy that they did determine to make it for the PC beta, and it is free to play. So you can check this out yourself for free, and you definitely going to have your opinions about it. So I do like that it has riffs. Riffs are a lot of fun, especially from uh, Diablo 3, playing that a, a lot. Many versions of it on console. I, I play it on the Xbox Series X. But, you know, there's rift modifiers just like in previous versions uh, lots of loot. The loot is definitely satisfying. Um, definitely there's some cosmetic versions and differences that you can do in this game versus previous Diablo games. I found I like that. Like essentially, uh, it's less of a mix and match with armor that your character, uh, if you choose, can look a certain way. And I like that. Um, I do like that the combat in the bosses and even the noises and stuff are from previous Diablo games. And it'd be interesting for a, a, a technical breakdown how many assets were used from Diablo 3. I, I don't know that. But here it is. Here's one of the uh, you know legendary gems. And again, you have to pay to get better chances of getting uh, higher level legendary gems. And so there's one star, two star, and five star. And for the free to play, you're typically going to get one and two star legendary gems now as you progress especially if you're, you're fighting solo uh it becomes more difficult to progress because you need better weapons and armor and it definitely is nudging you to to spend money on specific items or that paying that money for that battle pass that's not free so yes that's going to really annoy people but overall after playing five hours uh you know i got to level 25 I did enjoy what I was playing uh, overall. There are some minor annoyances, and I think it's going to get worse as I progress. That's what I hear. I hear it's pretty steady to level 35, 30, 35, and then the grind begins. And and sometimes level progression games like this, it, it happens. And I know that's going to annoy many people. Uh, again, I'm going to play this through for free and give you and give you my thoughts because uh you know i'm a big diablo fan i've played them all i've really enjoyed overall most diablo games uh diablo 2 for sure is my favorite i really wish they would remake the the first one just straight up i really enjoy the first one classic and all played quite a bit of it but this one this one's all right it does have it it does feel like it does belong in the Diablo universe. Is it a full on Diablo experience? It's hard to say, you know, that, that free to play part of it. I wish, I wish what they would do is offer the entire game for 
a bundle. Like, hey, you pay like this amount of money, 20 or 30 bucks, and you get the entire game with no add-ons. I, I, I don't think they'll ever do that, but that's what I would wish. As I think there's a lot of people out there that just want to experience the game, and they're okay with paying up front if they get the entire game. That's the only, the only issue with free-to-play games is sometimes, you know, they, they, they offer you, you know, half of the game or three-quarters of the game, but you really need to pay this amount to fully experience the game. And I definitely feel that with this uh, PC version, the PC beta of Diablo Immortal. I did check out the phone version. Um, I'm not a big fan of playing on a really small screen. And I do feel that if I'm going to play this game, I'm going to play it on PC, even though my PC is not the best. I feel like it looks better. I can see it easier. There's lots of little details in this game. And I think on a small screen, you're kind of missing out on some of that. And so that's it. Just really wanted to give my thoughts about this game. Uh, what do you think of this? Is this something you're going to check out? Put it in the comments below, and as always, if you like what you see on my channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I upload content every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Thank you for coming to my channel and checking this out. This is the immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.